Hey, good morning. So busloads of fans will descend on the Wells Fargo Center tonight and then again on Sunday for the Elite Eight. And we got some big name teams as well as an underdog story that's brewing out of Jersey City. The mad rush right now to get some last minute tickets for the Sweet 16. We caught up with some alums from UCLA who live and work in Philadelphia and they're going to tonight's big game. Looking at third parties, trying to see what the Alumni Association might have, like what's going on, trying to figure out like how much we want to pay. So, you know, it's just the experience of a lifetime. You can't really put a price on it. Yeah, but you're going. <laughs> yep, I'm going. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, U, C, L, A, U, C, L, A, fight, fight, fight. Yeah, a lot of energy from those Philly-based Bruins. They run the local alumni group. They're hosting a watch party, by the way, at Xfinity Live. Now, UCLA has more national titles than any other program, but not lately, not since the 90s. Tonight, they face a strong team from Chapel Hill, also a great legacy basketball program. The Carolina Tar Heels hit the hardwood yesterday. They practiced inside the center. Now, these two teams often bring legions of fans with them, so it's going to be a boost for the local economy as Philly recovers from the pandemic. It's, it's obviously a great piece of business for us. We're going to sell about 8,100 hotel rooms and with 15,000 attendees and a $12.2 million economic impact. And there's also this great underdog story in the making, the St. Peter's Peacocks from Jersey City. They made the trek down I-95 to Philly. They've defied odds. They'll face Purdue tonight. And if they win here, they'll actually be the first 15 seed to ever win a Sweet 16 game. And Philly, by the way, as we come back here live to the center, is a city where underdog legends are born. So we will be watching tonight to see what happens here. For now, we're live outside the Sweet 16 at the Wells Fargo Center, Randy Gyllenhaal, NBC 10 News.